name is Stormy Holloway. I'm going to talk about nursing shortages. When you first get to a hospital or doctor's, doctor's office, who is the first person you see? The nurse. When you are at the hospital, who is the person who's taking care of you for the first or for the 24 hours to 7 days or however long you're at the hospital? The nurse. We need more nurses. We will never be able to produce 1.1 million nurses by 2022 or give patients sufficient care if we don't make some changes. I applied for the nursing program, I guess it was last uh, summer. There was over 300 other applicants and only around 85 of us were accepted. Granted, we have lost some as we started the program, but if we were to accept more, then we would be able to uh, have more nurses coming out of the nursing program. I believe that if we can increase the amount of nurses in the healthcare field by increasing the amount of qualified students being accepted in the nursing program, then there would be a, we would be able to increase the staff in order to accept more people to the program. I will go over how many students are turned away from nursing programs each year, why we need to increase the amount of nursing instructors within the programs, and how if we offer the instructors a better incentive, then we would be able to, they would, we would increase our amount of nursing instructors. First, I'll start off with how many potential nurses are getting turned away. According to the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, on the 2014 to 2015 enrollment and graduations in baccalaureate and graduation programs in nursing, the schools turned away 68,938 people that were qualified for the program. And the reason they turned them away was due to lack of faculty, clinical sites, classroom space, clinical preceptors, and budget constraints. But almost two thirds of those colleges said the main reason was due to the fa uh, faculty shortage. As you can see, there are many reasons for the rejection of so many qualified students. But why? Why do we have this issue? The main one was due to the lack of faculty to support the students. Also, according to the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, nursing schools turned away 41,683 qualified applicants across the nation in 2005. More than 73% of the respondents to the survey stated an insufficient number of faculty as the primary reason for these rejections. So not only do we not have a su sufficient staff, but the schools are not wanting to have, or they're wanting to have more advanced nurses to take care of the students or to teach the students. So I think if we were to be able to increase their salaries by, if we increase the amount of students, then we'd have the money to you know, increase the instructors and pay them more or give them more incentives like because there's more nurses that work or nurses with their bachelor's degrees that work in hospitals for shorter hours instead of working five days a week, they only work three days a week and they still end up making more money than the ones that are working five days a week. A According to Nation's Need to Address Nursing Educator Shortage yesterday, which I just stated, was that after taking on graduate school debt, nursing professors with doctorate degrees work longer hours and on average make less than nurses with bachelor's degrees. Competition for nurses with graduate degrees also lures many potential nursing professors out of the academic and into the lucrative private and clinical sectors that pay significantly higher salaries. Nothing sounds more attractive or less attractive than working longer hours and making less money. So now that I've discussed the problem of not stat having enough staff to increase our nursing shortage or to decrease our nurse nursing shortage, let's just discuss the solution to this problem. According to the reports, the main reason for increased re rejections of quali qualified students is due to the insufficient of staff. Therefore, I think it would be beneficial for our healthcare field to increase the faculty. That way, we can increase the amount of nurses that are graduating from nursing programs and getting into the nursing field. Also, if we have more advanced faculty, this will help to increase the quality of 
the education that our nursing students are receiving. And it also will um, increase the shortages because we'll be giving the professors more incentive to come here. Due to more students being accepted, there will be more money to compensate for the increased wages and increased staff. Now I'm going to make give you a visual picture of what could happen if we didn't make this change, or if we did and then if we didn't. By adding more instructors to the nursing program, that nationwide, it'll make an easier, it'll be, it will not be an easy task, but it'll benefit our community. It'll increase the number of students, it'll increase the amount of nurses in the nursing field, and it'll also increase the amount of sufficient care that's being offered to the patients by decreasing the chances of healthcare acquired infections, the spread of disease, and death within the hospitals because we'll have more people or nurses in general will have less patients to take care of. On the other hand, if we don't increase the amount of nurses that are being produced, then we could lead to lack of care that they're receiving, increased mortality, and disease. So, hiring more instructors is important nationwide to benefit nurses and students everywhere. There are not enough instructors to accommodate for the amount of qualified students who want to become nurses. Along with there not being enough nurses, there are not enough advanced nurses that the schools want to teach the students. But most advanced nurses can get increased pay in other lines of work, so they're not going to want to come, so we need to give them incentives to come. So therefore, we need to hire more instructors, and this will not only benefit the nursing students, it will benefit everyone, especially you. You have to voice out your concerns to help make a change for tomorrow. We need to get more nurses in order to give better care to not only you, but to your child, to your parents, and to everyone you love. You want there to be nurses to provide you with the care you deserve. So let's not let our nursing shortage keep increasing and make a change by first increasing the number of instructors. Thank you.